For initial setup, I imported two video clips into my project. My first clip is of some buildings, which I will use to put my second clip on the side of. And for my second clip, I have footage of these models. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is select our buildings clip and drag it onto our timeline. Then go up to the window tab and make sure you have the tracker option selected. In the tracker pane, click on the track camera button. It'll take some time to analyze your footage. What it's doing is coming up with points that you can use in the 3D space to attach your objects to. Once it's finished, hover over your footage to see a target marker. This lets you know where you can position your object in the 3D space. When you find a position to your liking, just left click it. It's okay if the target seems a little too big or small, we can resize it later. Now that we have our target confirmed, right click it and select create solid in camera. This will create a new track solid layer on our timeline. Right click your new solid layer and select pre-compose. Then hit OK. Double click on your new solid composition layer to open it up in a new tab. In here, highlight and delete your solid color layer because we want to replace that with some video footage. Click on the project pane, find the video you'd like to add to your surface, and then drag it onto the composition where your solid color just was. Now you may have noticed the size of my composition is a lot more narrow than my original video. To fix this, go to Composition, Composition Settings. In the pop-up, change the width and height to that of your original video, and then hit OK. This looks alright, but I'm actually okay with how it looked before when it was cropped because my skyscrapers are narrow and tall, so I also want a narrow video. It's fine to keep yours as it is, but I'm going to undo that change. Okay, now we're done in here, so let's head back over to our main composition. As you can see, this is way too big and the positioning on the building is off. Now, if you just have a simple adjustment to make, you can use the handles to resize it and these perspective arrows to reposition it. But for this edit, I'm going to use the transform properties to get mine set up perfectly. Change the position, rotation, and other transform properties to your liking. Don't be afraid to experiment, your values will be different from mine. Alright, and now when I play back my clip, I have a nice looking effect. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful.